Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about anatomy and physiology of digestive system. This is also an important system when you are preparing for your interview. Okay. So when we go for a medical coding interview, first of all, the H, uh, the like um, uh, the interviewer will be asking you to explain any one system. So that when you take up this digestive system, no, you will be having lot of uh, points to talk about this digestive system and it is quite interesting to explain about the system also so if you choose a digestive system to talk about at the time of your interview you can uh, uh, make a note of the points which i have added here as i say in all the interviews all the um, videos you have to be very clear with the diagram okay first one digestive system is a network of organ that helps to digest and absorb nutrition from your food it includes uh, gastrointestinal tract and biliary system gi tract is a series of hollow organ that are connected to each other leading from mouth to the anus biliary system is a network of three organs that deliver bile enzymes through the gi bile tract uh, bile ducts gastrointestinal tract the organs that make up gi tract in the order that they are connected including mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine and anus Biliary system includes liver, gallbladder, pancreas and bile duct. So when you take the digestive system, you can divide it into two GI and uh, biliary system. Okay. So first we will start with the functions of digestive system. The main functions of digestive system are ingestion, propulsion, food breakdown, food uh, absorption and defecation. When coming to ingestion, like it is a voluntary process, like uh, whatever food we take into the mouth, like masticate, chewing and everything is uh, happening as ingestion and propulsion means swallowing swallowing of the food okay that is called as uh, propulsion and food bre breakdown so here the mechanical digestion as well as chemical digestion is happening in case of mechanical digestion mixing of food in the mouth by tongue churning the food in the stomach and segmentation in the small intestine whereas in chemical digestion sequencing of food uh, step by step in which large food molecules are broken down into their uh, small small molecules okay so next comes the anatomy of digestive system so the organs of digestive system can be separated into two main groups that is elementary canal and the accessory digestive organs okay so in this i have given an image if it is not visible for you properly please do check uh, the image in the uh, google so that it will uh, help you to understand like what are parts are related to the digestive system so whenever we are explaining about the system you should have a clear vision about the diagram otherwise in between if you forget any one of the point which you have studied you will be struck there so if you remember the image now you can connect something and you can talk about it so the organs of elementary canal the elementary canal are also called as uh, gastrointestinal tract okay it is a hollow muscular tube that winds through the ventral body cavity and is open at the both the ends. The organs include elementary tract or GI tract organs include mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Other than the intestine of the stomach, the following are also the part of digestive system that is accessory part that is teeth, salivary gland, pancreas, gallbladder. Um, okay, so these are the organs of the digestive system now what you have to do is you have to explain each parts uh, with two or three points so that we can elaborate the system and we will be having content to talk about it so when it comes to the mouth food enters the digestive tract through the mouth or the oral cavity so in the mouth you have to talk about all the parts like first one comes the lips and second the parts of the mouth includes lips Cheeks, cheeks are the la present in the lateral wall. Palate, palate we have hard palate and soft palate. And next comes the uvula. Uvula is a fleshy finger-like projection in the soft palate and vestibule. Vestibule is a 
space between the lips and the cheek next is oral cavity proper that is uh, area contained by the teeth in the oral cavity tongue then lingual frenulum then palatine tonsil and then lingual tonsil these are the things uh, which are present in the mouth like i i won't say like you have to explain all the points there is no need in that whatever points you remember you can say next comes a pharynx from the mouth food passes posteriorly into the oropharynx as well as the laryngopharynx oropharynx is posterior to the oral cavity and laryngopharynx is a continuous with the esophagus below uh, both of which are common passage way for food fluid and the air so this thing like already we have seen in the respiratory system we have explained it also regarding the oropharynx nasopharynx and all so here in the pharynx case uh, when it comes to the mouth part it is divided into two that is oropharynx and laryngopharynx here in the digestive process you have to talk about this system only so these are the things which you can tell about this uh, pharynx okay then we will be talking about esophagus the esophagus runs from the pharynx through the diaphragm to the stomach so when you are talking about the esophagus you have to say about the size and function structure everything so when it comes to the size thing it is about 25 cm long it is essentially a passage way that conducts food by peristalsis to the stomach so when coming to the structure the wall of the elementary canal organ from the esophagus to the large intestine are made up of same four basic tissue layer of tunics okay then coming to the mucosa sub mucosa and all i have added here but uh, it's not necessary that you have to explain all those things okay so you can wind up with this two points it is more than enough up to structure is more than enough so you can add up like this esophagus run from pharynx through the diaphragm and the stomach and then you can talk about the structure and this thing <coughs> and then comes to the stomach the stomach is a j shaped organ that digests the food it produces enzymes that is substance that create chemical reaction and acid digestive juices this mix of the enzyme and digestive juices break down food so it can pass to the small intestine the stomach is a part of gi tract the gi tract as we said it is a long tube starts from the mouth and it is running towards the anus where the stool is pooped out um, from the body so the gi tract is a main key part of the digestive system as i said stomach is a part of the gi tract so it is a important part here the mixing of the food with the help of digestive juices and everything is happening inside the stomach so if you take up the stomach it has five distinct sections okay so first one comes as a cardia second one is fundus third one is body that is corpus fourth one is antrum and fifth one is pylorus so the cardia cardia is a top part of the stomach it contains a cardiac sphincter which pro prevents food from traveling back up to the esophagus so the fundus is rounded section next to the cardia it is below the diaphragm that is dome shaped muscle that helps to breathe the body that is the corpus is the largest section of the stomach in the body the stomach contracts and begins to mix the food the antrum is lying below the body that is um, uh, below the body in the sense stomach part okay it holds the food until the stomach is ready to send it uh, to the small intestine next comes a pylorus you can add up the point so here the food moves through the gi tract in few steps that is first uh, in mouth and then it following the esophagus then it is moving on to the stomach then to small intestine then to large intestine and finally to the rectum so in the mouth uh, swallowing uh, mixing everything is happening and then esophagus food travels through the esophagus at the bottom of the esophageal sphincter releases uh, the food pass through the stomach the stomach um, creates digestive juices and break down the food in small intestine food mixes with the digestive juices from the intestine liver pancreas uh, the intestinal wall absorbs the nutrients and remove the waste products large intestine turns the waste products into stool and rectum is the lower portion of the large intestine it stores the stool until the bowel has a uh filling and then comes the small intestine small intestine is a part of digestive system it makes up a long pathway that food takes through the body called gastrointestinal tract when food leaves the stomach it enters into the small intestine it is called a small bowel here uh, the small bowel is connected to the large bowel that is large uh, 
intestine or colon the intestine are responsible for breaking down of food absorbing the nutrients and solidifying the waste the small intestine is the longest part of gi tract where most of the digestion will be taking place and the absorption of nutrients is also happening in the small intestine so then after um, as i said the nutrients and the solids are separated the nutrients will be absorbed in the wall and the waste will be uh, moved to the large intestine so different parts of small intestine is duodenum jejunum and ileum so duodenum is the first part of the small intestine that uh, first part of the small intestine so it is 10 inches long and it is c shaped next come jejunum it is the remaining part of the small intestine it has many coils inside the lower abdominal cavity so here the, um, it make up a less uh, half of the remaining length jejunum is characterized by many blood vessels and ileum is the last and longest section of the small intestine here the wall of the small intestine begins to thin and narrow and the blood supply is reduced the food spends the most of the time in the ileum where most of the water and nutrients are absorbed so ileum in in ileum only the food uh, absorption is taking place so next the waste content will be moved on to the large intestine it is the last part of the gi tract it is a long tube like structure it follows from the small intestine and ends up in the anal canal and the food waste will be leaving the body so the large intestine is also called as large bubble where food waste is formed into poop stored and finally excreted it includes a colon rectum and anus sometimes colon it is used to describe the entire large intestine here i have given the image of that so that you can see like uh, ascending colon is there descending colon is there transverse colon is there cecum is there rectum sigmoid colon so that you can see the parts okay uh, understand the parts and then comes like uh, different parts of large intestine is cecum colon rectum and anus cecum cecum is a beginning of the colon this is a reservoir for food from the small intestine uh, arrives in the large intestine where the cecum um, uh, is full it triggers a muscle movement to a muscle movement of the colon to begin colon as a food processed to the ascending colon it travels upward and eventually sideway across the transverse colon these segments forms uh, frame the small intestine which is co coiled inside any remaining water and electrolytes are absorbed in the um, uh, ascending co and transverse colon then the food waste that arrives in the descending colon is mostly solid the colon secretes mucus to uh, bind and lubricate the food and next comes uh, rectum by this time uh, everything the waste content everything will be collected and through the anus it will be expelled out next comes the accessory digestive organs accessory organs are teeth uh, salivary gland pancreas and gall bladder uh so these are the accessory organs now we are going to explain each part in uh, detail like a uh, few points about teeth few points about salivary glands and uh, few points about pancreas and few points about gall bladder so that no when you are adding up these points it will help you to elaborate the system in a very fine manner so that uh, the opposite person the interviewer will be having an idea like okay this person knows something regarding the system so you have to create that image in front of the interviewer so when comes to the teeth part you have to tell about the function the function is the teeth grinds the food and uh, we have deciduous teeth that is the first teeth um, yeah, baby teeth no that is called as deciduous and permanent teeth which is happening in 6 to 12 years and incisors are um, mainly for cutting and canines for uh, tearing and piercing premolars and molars are there crown part enamel part root dentin pulp cavity root canal there is uh, no necessary like you have to explain all these things you can say the accessory part is teeth that's that's it uh, enough and then um, if if needed and if you find it um, uh, useful you can add up these points also while uh, explaining about the system so next is salivary gland we have three pairs of salivary gland empty their secretion into the mouth that is parotid gland submandibular and sublingual gland saliva and salivary amylase so uh, when uh, we uh, parotid gland the largest parotid glands lies in the anterior to the 
ears and empty their uh, secretion into the mouth submandibular and sublingual glands are uh, empty their secretion into the floor of the mouth through the tiny ducts saliva the product of salivary gland saliva is a mixture of mucus and serous fluid salivary amylase a clear serous portion contain an enzyme salivary amylase in a bicarbonate rich juice that uh, begin the process of starch digestion in the mouth these points are uh, easy only you can make a note of it next comes pancreas pancreas is a large gland in the back of the abdomen belly it is a part of digestive system and uh, endocrine system pancreas is a dual organ like a factory with two production lines it makes enzymes to help with digestion that is exocrine system and hormones to control the amount of sugar in the blood stream that is endocrine system so these are the points which you can tell about uh, pancreas okay so when you are explaining you have to uh, you will be telling about the parsnolytic next accessory organ is pancreas so you have to tell about that points also so after pancreas we will be adding up the next part that is uh, uh, liver so liver is the largest and perhaps the most complex organ in the body liver is made up of two main lobes okay so uh, there are many parts all working together that allows liver to perform more than 300 function so part that makes up the liver is lobules the liver has two lobes okay the right and the left each lobe is made up of thousands of hexagonally shaped lobules these lobules are very small each lobule is made up of numerous liver cells called hepatocytes that line up in the radiating rows between each row are uh, cyanocytes these small blood vessels diffuse oxygen and nutrients through the capillary walls into the liver cells the lobules are connected to the small bile duct that connects with larger uh, ducts uh, to ultimately form the hepatic ducts gall bladder gall bladder is a small pear shaped organ that stores and release bile bile is a fluid liver produces that helps digestion of fats in the food that you eat gall bladder is located in the upper part of abdomen it sits just under the liver gall bladder is a part of digestive system the main function is to store bile bile has a, a bile helps in digestive uh, breakdown of fats bile is a mixture of mainly cholesterol bilirubin and bile salt this is all, this is all the things which you can uh, say about uh, gall bladder and uh, it's very simple like only three or three or four points is uh, required when you are explaining about each part okay so finally we can see some of the common digestive disorders include irritable bowel syndrome small intestinal bacterial overgrowth gastroesophageal reflux disease gallstone celiac disease crohn's disease ulcerative colitis so that's all about uh, digestive system thank you so much for watching my video and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and uh, keep watching for interesting topics and i have uh, i'm adding a playlist for anatomy system so whenever you are preparing for your interviews or anything please make a note of the systems which i have added so that it will be really helpful for you to understand the things okay so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe take care wish you all the best for your interviews try in all the companies never ever lose the hope 100% you will get the job okay thank you so much take care bye bye